Good, Good morning. morning. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. And it's sunny. It's sunny. Yay. Warm and sunny. We're so excited. It is. It's awesome. We're so silly. We are that too. How was your workout? Workout was good. What'd you do today? Back, biceps, and abs. That's a good workout. Yeah, it was good. I rode the bike for about an hour, give or take, a little better than 65 minutes or so. Um, I did have someone come and stand next to me and complain for a half hour, so mm. that was uh, not pleasant. Not zen like, isn't it? Not say. zen like at all for me to. And I, you know, I'm riding and I'm riding hard, and there's hills, and so there's times where I can't even talk because I'm breathing. And the girl, she keeps talking. <laughs> she didn't care. Good morning, good morning Deborah. Deborah. It's good to see you. Um, so, yeah. But I got my cardio in and uh, had to put up my wall of negativity defense because <laughs> she was um, very unhappy about absolutely everything. Right. So we dealt with that this morning. Uh, what are you having for breakfast? Oatmeal. Anybody want to see? I know it's... Looks the same every day. It does. Because he makes it the same every yeah, day. It looks pretty. Look at the blueberries in there. The banana <laughs> chips. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Yep, it's all good. Morning, Valerie. So we were asked yesterday if we could talk about eggs. Right. And we did talk about eggs, I think the last time was mid-August. And so, you know, a lot of the same questions come up, so we like to repeat stuff and do more research. And I know you did some, some research yesterday. I pulled out my my notes from um, August, but Russ did some more research. Did you want to talk some? Uh, I mean, so we said back then as well that there are like a list of things that we think you should eliminate in certain orders. And of course, number one for us is always dairy as the number one thing. Mm -hmm. And I believe we moved eggs as number two, eliminating eggs from your diet. Um, and so I looked at some studies that were, be, that were done and, and some research. And basically what they showed is there's a, there's a connection between cancer and eggs, which I thought was interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if we talked about this last time. Um, the originally, when I was reading it, they, they tried to see if it was a carcinogenic, so it causes cancer. And it turns out that it doesn't necessarily cause cancer, but it does promote cancer. And let me explain the difference of that. So cancer has different stages. The first stage is a, a cell has to break. A cell has to um, not replicate correctly. And then your body has to not catch that, and it has to start to divide. And then your body has to not catch that. And so if it catches it when it's just one cell, it just kills it, and it's like, okay, we're done with that. Um, if it catches it when there's just a little tiny cluster of cells, it's called a foci, and it doesn't kill it, but it kind of just stops it and holds it, and it's just like, all right, fine, you can be there, but you can't grow. And everybody apparently has those and dies with those little cancer foci. They're not anything. But if once it gets past the foci stage, that's when it starts going into promotion, which is when it starts to grow. And that's what um, eggs do, is they right. promote that past the foci stage. Right. Specifically to this study with prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. um, and then also it talked about col um, colorectal cancer as well as a problem. Mm -hmm. um, what I found was interesting, and, and we knew this, but I'm not sure everybody does, is so the American Egg Board, which we always discuss as um, big egg. Big egg. <laughs> it's actually a government appointed agency. Isn't that sad? Which is sad, right. Um, and going back to, I think it was 2002, 2004, around that time, they, or they, like any time eggs, the egg industry and egg manufacturer wants to make a commercial and promote their product, they have to be passed through this egg they board. They have to go through the egg board. Um, mm -hmm. But the egg board, actually, based on the studies that were done, have actually shown that in no way, shape, or form can you say an egg is healthy. Healthy food, good for you, nutritious. Um, nutritional. Nutritional. Safe. You can say things like it's <laughs> nutrient dense. And you can't say it's well balanced. You can't say it's well balanced. <laughs> so what they did is, is the egg board worked with the egg industry to manipulate the way they talk. Right. So as I said, things you can say that will technically fool people, which is what they're actually trying to do, but things you can't say. So they knocked down... I don't know how many commercials, how many different ad promotions they wanted to do that basically stated that egg was like a health food or healthy for you. Right. And they just can't. It's, it's the, the highest cholesterol food that we consume in this country or mm -hmm. in the Western society. Saturated, saturated fat, yep. High in saturated fat. Um, and now it also is shown to uh, promote cancer. So. And since there's no legal definition for nutrient dense, anybody can say that. Anyone can say something is nutrient dense. So it's so here's. Sorry, did I steal no, your thunder? No, 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 no. It just made me laugh. Um, here's one of the one of the uh, taglines or commercial lines that they're allowed to use: "Eggs, when eaten, can reduce hunger." <laughs> that was approved by the Egg Council. Okay. Well, that's good. And the Egg Council actually came back to them and said, "Good job. You can use that." So I thought that was uh, things they can't say more than um, 
They, they can't say it's safe. Uh, they said that more than 100,000 Americans were poisoned by eggs a year. In other words, they get salmonella, which is a, yeah. a high risk. So over 100,000 Americans per year will be poisoned by eggs. So you have to eat your eggs hard cooked. If you're going to eat eggs, you have to eat them hard, hard cooked. The U.S. government says the only way to eat eggs is hard boiled. Mm -hmm. That's it. There are no other ways. Thank you for sharing, Deborah. We appreciate it. Thank you, Deborah. Um... Anything else you want to add? Just, uh, just a little thing about eggs and pregnancy. Basically, if you're pregnant or plan on being pregnant, don't eat eggs. Um, it is, and I didn't even know this existed, you probably did. So there's something called uh, gestational diabetes. Ge gestational diabetes. And when they did a test, and they actually, so if you know the, um, the, the what's it called, the nurses um, study, study, which is the largest woman's study I believe that's ever done. Longitudinal. Right. Um, they actually looked at um, high risk for pregnancies and all that and determined that that, that um, gestational, Just gestational right diabetes uh, occurred more often with women that, that consumed eggs during pregnancy mm -hmm. um, and they also think that it may also contribute to type 1 <coughs> type 1 diabetes and pecans pecans indeed mm -hmm. And then another thing that they that the um, egg industry did to say, see, we're not so bad, is they did a comparison on, on the dangers of eggs compared to the dangers of cigarette smoking. Isn't that funny how they're like, we're not as bad as cigarette smoking, so it's okay. Right. So that's, that's what I got. That's what I came up with for the eggs. All right. So a couple of different things that I have is um, that they do, so they, they feed chickens what they call feather meal which is they take what's left over from chicken, chickens being slaughtered and, and whatever, grind it up, and they feed it back to the chickens. And so what's happening is that um, things like antibiotics and whatever that have been banned forever and ever and ever are still in the chicken system because they keep reprocessing the bird. And so the bird is cannibalizing on other birds that have been given old antibiotics. So those things are still in the cycle, they're still in the chickens and then in the eggs. Um, they also feed chicken feces back to them. I don't know how that's useful. Like if it was excreted as you think that waste. Means, yeah, all the nutrients are gone and it's just right. waste. Why would you feed it back to the, I don't know, but they do that, so whatever, that's very strange. Um, and they said that um, it can cause premature utter development and lactation. Um, and obviously if you're female, that means breast development, but right. They, they, they were looking at um, feeding these things to cattle as well. Um, they, there's new studies that are showing it may be a complete carcinogen, which means it causes and promotes cancer, which is obviously not preferable. You definitely don't want that to go on. Um, estrogen steroid hormones in food. Uh, so this is something that the government said. Estrogen estrogen steroid hormones in food of animal origin are unavoidable even if no extra hormones are ingested. Right. And so what that means, hey Susan. Hey Susan. What that means is that even if they don't give the birds anything extra to make them lay extra eggs or keep them awake longer or do anything, you know, give them anything extra, you're gonna get chicken hormones. And obviously if you think about what an egg is and the fact that it's half of an embryo if it's not been fertilized, obviously it's got a lot of hormones and a lot of stuff in it because it's supposed to turn into a chick. That's what right. it's supposed to do. And so um, you're going to get those hormones in your body. Um, so one thing, one thing that the egg industry did, this was a funny study that they did that made me laugh. They said eggs have no negative effect on health of unhealthy people. So it doesn't make unhealthy people any more unhealthy as compared to feeding them sausage and cheese. Right. And There's a study so for you. And what we found over and over and over again is what these these big food industries that are basically feeding us crap mm. no better way to say it. what they do to make it show that they're not so bad is they always compare it to something that is worse mm -hmm. so they find something that is worse than what they have and say see this is this you people do this so they should certainly do ours because ours is not even half as bad as that right you know or it's probably not even not half as bad as being generous but you know what i'm saying right but we, we told you before about how they manipulate the science. And so if you take unhealthy people and you study them and you compare giving them an egg to giving them sausage and cheese, they don't get any sicker. Right. right. The other thing that they've done, and I've, I've shared, this is one of my favorite studies to share. Because you may have remembered a, a couple, it might have been a couple of years ago now, the egg industry came out and said, cholesterol is not raised by eating eggs, blah, blah. Like they had this whole big thing. Mm. And so 
we went in, a bunch of different people went in, and I went in as well, and we looked at, what was this study? How did they possibly show that mm -hmm. eggs don't raise your cholesterol? And what they did is they took people and maxed their cholesterol out by feeding them other cholesterol heavy foods and the human body can only absorb so much cholesterol at a time and so you can max the reading out so they maxed the reading out they measured it and then they fed them eggs and then they measured it again and guess what it was still maxed out right imagine i don't know how that works it's crazy and so then they said eating eggs doesn't change your cholesterol well yes if you've already maxed your cholesterol out and you're already at the edge of like giving yourself a heart attack, then yeah, eat an egg because right. it's not going to make they, any And they generally do these studies with people that are already unhealthy, you know, right. so they're already, they're already unhealthy and it's like, well, we didn't make them unhealthier. And that's one of the challenges that we have in the U.S. is that it's really hard to study health and, and diet and nutrition because everybody is just on a horrible diet and so you can't make, there's no change mm -hmm. unless you look at people like you know, Russ and I, who are, are completely plant-based, or you find vegan pockets of people and compare them. And that's not what they do. They take people on the standard American diet and then compare them. And it's like, well, that's comparing apples to apples. That's <laughs> not going to tell us anything. They're yeah. apples. Right. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting thing when you start looking at eggs and the way that the egg industry, um, you know, pushes them. Um, they, there was a study that was done that wasn't completely convoluted that found that eating eggs, that one, if you have diabetes, so once you have diabetes, and someone I know just email, um, emailed just me today, got, yeah. just this morning before we went live and said that he's been diagnosed with diabetes, and I was like, it's all right, annoying, but solvable, right. not the end of the world. Totally reversible. Um, but once you have diabetes, if you eat eggs, um, it doubles your all-cause mortality. And what that means is that once you have diabetes, if you eat eggs, your likelihood of dying of basically anything is doubled. So it, they're just not, they're not really good. They increase, they increase inflammation, including eczema. They increase acidity in your body. We all, we've talked about acidity and how your body uses calcium in your bones and your muscle protein to reduce acidity. So there's a lot of things about eggs that just, I don't know, we choose not to eat them based on the science that we have that, you know, eggs, they're just not a healthy choice. Mm -hmm. um, if so you're going to choose to eat them, just be aware right. of, you know, that, that you know, you're making a choice that's making your body work hard. Right. And so, so I don't remember the person who asked this yesterday, um, but to her, I know it was a woman, um, this is the information we have. And again, this mm -hmm. is not based on, on opinion. This is the research we did and the peer-reviewed studies that we have seen. That, that state that this is this these are the facts. And you might wonder, you know, how does how do eggs become how do they become like the thing that people eat for breakfast? So because the egg board isn't allowed to really advertise a lot because there's a lot of things they're not allowed to say the the egg companies aren't allowed to say. What they do is they pay for pro product placement in mm -hmm. children's schools. So in stories that children hear and in you know at schools they get scrambled eggs and it becomes the norm when they're little and if you can indoctrinate someone when they're little you have a, a client a patient a you client have a client for life, for life. Yeah. and so that's what they do is that they they do placement so pay attention if if you have children pay attention to the stories and the and the books and the things at school mm -hmm. and look for eggs and dairy you'll see both I mean just just the nursery run green eggs and ham pop right to my head as soon as I always think about that. Product right. placement, right? Um, and it, um, if you like some data, it's one of the most concentrated sources of cholesterol in the diet. The government recommends no more than 300 milligrams of cholesterol a day. I think that's a lot. I think you, your body doesn't need cholesterol. You can you produce, you know, it, yeah. produce it yourself. But we'll go with the government's number. They say 300 a day max. One egg is about 215. And so if you if you have a cholesterol issue, your eggs are not doing you any favors. Right. Um, I would definitely... Yeah, if you eat one egg, then you're, you're not very far away from your max. Oh, uh, what the government says What the, the government says, yeah. right, which is high to begin with. Mm -hmm. I mean, psh, you'd walk outside and breathe the air, I feel like you'd get the rest of that. You yeah, know? it's true. It's so. true. And you have to watch out for hidden eggs, because mm -hmm. eggs are in a lot of right. processed foods. And, and, and so, just to be clear, what we're talking about here is being able to keep your, your, yourself healthy without medications. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's our ultimate goal, right, is not to have to take medications. We might have some comment or oh, something. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, so that's our ultimate goal. Uh, what I said yesterday, and I'll repeat again today, is in the Western society, which so the Western diet, which is where the standard American diet comes from, Americans live the shortest lives. 
So we are dying of more diseases, more food-related, you know, diet-related diseases, and we are not living as long as our brethren or our other um, Western societies out there. And it's because of the diet that we're eating. And unfortunately, they're catching up with us. Right. Because we're right. exporting. And they're starting to eat because we export. We're starting to export right. our horrible eating habits. Right, exactly. Um, the other thing to be aware of is that the egg industry likes to... Uh, do the nutrition dance where you pick one nutrient and say, oh look, this has this is healthy. You should eat these because this thing is healthy. And they don't take the whole package into consideration. And to, there's just there's one thing that they claim, oh, this is really healthy. You should eat this because eggs are good for you. And you would have to eat nine eggs to get the same amount of that thing that's in one tablespoon of spinach. Right. So we have to be really careful about comp you know what they compare information to and nitpicking at nutrients and saying this is healthy or that's healthy. Deborah, I see your comment about type 2 diabetes. Um, we can do another another video about that maybe tomorrow or Monday because we do wrap ups on Friday. Right. Um, yeah, glad to glad to share information about eggs. Appreciate the question. Um, and we do, we have a lot of information so we're, we're definitely here every day at 915 <laughs> Eastern. So Pop in, check us out, we, listen to what we're that, talking about. October was one year that we've been doing these lives five days a week. Mm -hmm. um, so we've been doing it for over a year now. And we mentioned that to somebody last night at an event we were at, and they just couldn't believe it. They, they were like, how, how do you have that much content? How do you have that much content? And we're like, this because there's just so much there's we want to so share. There's so much, yeah. yeah. And I do a lot of research. So I, I read books, and I listen to lectures. So there, we always have a ton to, ton to share. And we'll, I'll get some information about type 2 diabetes, because I'm sure my friend that messaged me this morning would be really interested in that Absolutely. as well. Yeah. So um, I think that's what we've got that's for eggs. It. We're running a little long today. We are. We had a lot to say about eggs. Right. No, that's it. I have nothing else to say. Except so you, I don't eat eggs. <laughs> you guys know that we are on uh, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook as R and R Journey, and Russ is on Twitter as Russ Brews. Right. With a B, so it's Russ and B R U Z. Right. That's him on Twitter. So you can find us there. We have our website R and R Journey .com, which is the hashtag I use that you can. Um, Go there and become a member and get access to exclusive content. You can also join our newsletter, which should have gone out probably about 30 minutes morning, ago. Yes. So I sent the newsletter out this morning, and our website, rnrjourney.com, also has the articles. So past newsletter articles that I've written are on there as well. Um, our webinar, how to think, what, what are you talking about? Our webinar is at howtofeedahuman.com, and that's where you can get the foundational information of the psychology of eating, what to eat, when to eat, and why you eat. Is that all we have? I think that's it. I think today. I covered everything. If you have questions, let us know. We're always happy to answer them. Let me check if we have one more comment down here. Chuck says, have you done any discussions about probiotics yet? We have not. That's actually a really good yeah, one. We should add it to, to our do. list. Yes. We'll so we'll add that, that to our list as well, Chuck. Thank you so much. Right. All right. Let's go and eat breakfast. So that's it. And you're welcome, Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, we will say, eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a have great a good day, one. Guys. We'll see you tomorrow.